So many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Nice punch there by Lee. Tony lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big body kick leg. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. What a punch. Oh, spinning back 
fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Body kick lands right under the elbow. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Good jab. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. Bleeding over the left eye now. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. into that leg kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Try to establish that jab. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. to the body here, another strike lands there. Big ball punch lands, now we get back to range. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Right punches there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees down. Both guys really throwing with authority. Big body kick. 15 seconds. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. I'm out there. You are a cardio machine. Cardio is the key to your victory right now. All right, second round is underway. Your Ready? thoughts on what we saw over the Ready? first five minutes? I saw a very competitive very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Great kicks there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent 
on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. He gets caught with that punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Watch that kick to the body. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, collar tie. Nice kick. Pretty good right hand. Oh, huge head kick. Big knee there to the chest. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. All right, so a high end, potentially a critical takedown here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the fight. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground striking is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Going orthodox now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Got clip with the right hand. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch by Lee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. That cut is looking nastier by the minute. Left hand punch in the clinch. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, nice uppercut there. Well played on the head kick. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Continuing to work the body with great effect. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice big overhand leg. Right? Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I had a time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. It's very tricky to really throw that body kick. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds. This is what happens. Very skilled, very even in the match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, big punch land. Oh, right as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He loaded up there on that high kick. Near the body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Nice leg kick lands. Nice punch there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, what a head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Dig and kick. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you see in this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Oh, Superman punch lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Kick lands for him there. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Liver kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Very bad. You can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Superman punch lands. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Punch over the top. And that one was heavy. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Huge block there. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Still nice body kick land. Oh, that right hand is on point. 
And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Nice punch there by Lee. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. You gotta check these low leg kicks. It's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes something. Doubles up on the jet. Goes the body with the knee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That is a thud play. They continue to exchange. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice body kick. Nice one, two there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Big head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Man, look at the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Not on that attempt. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Straight 
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Thirty seconds to go. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Real sneaky body kick. Just missed with the left there. Ten seconds to go. Great punch. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round, and how about the cut on that eyebrow? Oh, man, that's hard to look at even for me. It's gotten really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to call the doctor in here, and if it gets any worse, you got to think they have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh! Oh! And kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not recognize him. He's coming high. Beautiful body kick. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that hit kick landed. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just put his hands on it. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on your feet right now. Good boy. Tags him with the left hand. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Superman punch now. How good is that right hand? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He won't finish his fight. Oh, good kicks. He went high on that one. Beautiful punch. reads here tonight and there's another one beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own so they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Ninety seconds to go to decide this one. Whips on the straight right hand. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Unable to connect it. is blocked. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body kick. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Whoa! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got a bad. Sound strike on the ground. Say, but what a fight! Boom! Body kick right there, landed perfect. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead 